Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be talking about static nails. I've been wearing static nails for about six months now and before that I was wearing press-ons and glue-ons for about a year. So I would say I've tried my fair share of nails and static nails truly are my favorite. That's what I'm wearing today. That's what I'm always wearing for the most part because I just find them to be great. I love the shape. I love the glue. I think they last a long time. They look great and I'm very impressed with the quality. So in today's video, I'm going to share my experience with static nails and what I've learned along the way because I definitely have some tips and tricks for you that I didn't know the first time I tried them. I do have another video where I share my first initial use and I'll link that here and below if you want to see, but that's like where I show you how I apply them and I go through the whole process. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing what I've learned along the way. Out of all of the press-on and glue-on nails that I've tried, Static are definitely my favorite. I think that they just have so many things going for them. They're really, really high quality. The shape is amazing. So I usually wear the round shape. And I've also tried the square shape. I ordered a set of the coffin and they were a little bit long for me, so I'll probably have to file them down. But I prefer shorter nails and these are actually pretty long for me, but they don't bother me. Like they're really wearable and usable. They don't come flying off. I always thought if my nails were too long, they just wouldn't last as long. And that is not the case with static nails. And I also love that I don't have to reshape them. So you basically just prep your nail, glue them on, and you're good to go. It takes me about 15 minutes for the whole process. The square shape, I did have to shape them a little bit because they were wide and I like to taper my nails in a little bit, but you might not have to do that. A lot of the nails on the market have that little tag on the end where you have to at least file them down. And I have found that static nails don't have that tag, so it's really nice. So static claims that you can wear their nails for up to 18 days. And the longest I've gotten out of a set was 16 days. I would say my average though is seven to 10. And there's a few reasons for that. I literally do everything in them. I don't try to sugarcoat it and be very gentle with them. I wear them as if they're regular nails. And that's always the number one question I get. Like, can you wash dishes with them? How does it work with like self tanner and all the things Does it dye them? So I'm gonna get into all of that later, but I really do wear them all the time. And I would say my average wear is seven to 10 days. And even then, like after seven days, I'm ready to take them off just because the glossy top coat does start chipping. I also noticed on the ones that are painted, so like the French tip ones or some of the more cool designs, the paint starts to chip off. And so it is literally just like the glossy coat on the regular solid colors. It's the same thing. And so it does start to look pretty worn after seven days. So for that reason, I wouldn't call these reusable, but if one nail does come off, you can easily glue it back on. So in that sense, it is reusable, but I wouldn't wear the same set again after I removed it. I mean, I guess you could, but they just won't look as fresh. And for me, I just, I don't, I don't. Another reason I'm really impressed with static nails is the glue really is amazing. It's very unique compared to every other glue that I've tried on the market. It just lasts a very long time and it doesn't leave residue on your nails. It also isn't so strong that it rips your nail off when you remove the nails. It's really just, I mean, it's like magic. And they all come with a little, where is it? It's just like one of those little mini glues in the set. And those last me forever. So like I have so many of those piled up. I have one in each of my purses. I have them in my car. I have them all over the place because if the nail comes off, you can easily glue it back on and you're good. It's not like when you go to the nail salon and you have an acrylic and your nail breaks and then you're like, cool, now I have to go back to the nail salon to get it fixed. With these, if the nail pops off, you can put it back on and no one will ever know. I've only had one set where the nails like chipped down the middle and it happened on a few of the nails in that set. So I think it was just a bad set, but for the most part, these nails really are amazing. And I love the convenience of them because if you are out and one comes off, they don't come like flying off. Generally, it's like they start lifting. Usually around the cuticle is when mine start lifting or on one side and you can peel it off and just glue it back on. Hold it for a few seconds, you're good to go. I wanted to try the brush on glue because I tried the Kiss brush on glue from Dollar General and I was very impressed with it. I used it with a set of Kiss nails from Dollar General and I mean, really they're amazing. I do, I'm a big fan of Kiss. I would say Kiss nails are my second favorite, the glue-ons, not the press-ons. And then Static is my first favorite, but the brush on glue for Static nails is really not great. I just find that it doesn't work as well. The nails do pop off 
when I use this glue. When I use the little dropper glue that comes in the set, the nails last way longer. So I would say save your $8 and don't get this glue. One thing that was a little confusing and it took me some practice to really figure out how much glue to apply is the instructions say to apply a piece size amount of glue to each nail before you apply if you want them to last as long as possible. And to me, I'm thinking like a green pea, that's a lot of glue. So I would try it that like a big chunk of glue on my nail. You put the nail on and it just like squirts the glue out all over your finger, under the nail. It just makes a huge mess and it can make the nail look bad. So do not use a pea size amount of glue. So when I apply these nails, I apply glue to my nail and the press on nail. I let them get tacky for like five to 10 seconds and then I press them together. And before you push too hard, make sure that the nail is lined up because sometimes, I mean, this glue dries so fast. Once you put it down, it's hard to adjust the nail. So make sure, okay, the thumb is straight. Now I'm gonna press down and hold. Hold for 15 to 20 seconds and that will give you the longest wear. If you do have glue that leaks out around your cuticle, once you're done pressing, just grab a paper towel and you can wipe. I recommend wiping onto the skin, not wiping it like straight down onto the nail because it can make the nails look matte, but I do have a trick for that. And then also if it gets underneath the nail, you know how sometimes it can leave that buildup underneath? I found this tool from Amazon. It was like $10 and it comes with all these different tips. So I just use like the rounded one right here and you can just get right underneath your nail, clean it up, you're good to go. It's so easy to do. But if you do get glue on your nail, I found that you can use acetone on a cotton pad once it's dried and then just wipe it around and it doesn't remove the nail, but it does remove that glue residue. And then your nail will be glossy and look brand new. I find that maybe my nail beds are too flat or too round. I don't know what the deal is, but Sometimes I get air bubbles under the nails. I usually always get them on my thumbs and it's not that obvious. Like other people looking at my nails probably would never notice, but I notice. I've tried so many different methods. I get them no matter what. It's not just static nails. It happens with everyone. So if you have that same problem with nails, then when you're ordering static nails, make sure that you go to the opacity. Like you can scroll down in the description and then just look for nails that are full coverage. Each set comes with 24 nails and they say that you can get two sets out of them. For me, it doesn't really work that well because the big thumbnail is way too big. So I'd have to file down the edges and work really hard on that. And then, so like this is my thumb and then my middle ring and pointer finger are all right in the middle. So if I wanted to go down to the next size, it would be like, this is my thumb, this is my middle, and then these are my ring and pointer fingers. They just wouldn't fit as well. So I really can only get one set out of these nails. And that's expensive because they are 14 to $16. So I do have a $5 off coupon with them if you wanna give these nails a try. I do recommend using it, trying one and seeing what you think. For me, it doesn't bother me that much because it's still less expensive than if I was going to the nail salon every three weeks. But sometimes it really doesn't make sense to get two full sets out of this. Like this, it just, I mean, I could, and if I really wanted to spend the time and file these down and then just know that the second set isn't gonna look quite as fresh or fit my nails as well, then it's fine. The first set always looks amazing and the sizes really do look great. By the way, this is color Willow. I love this color, it's perfect for spring. I also love that you can use a cuticle oil with these nails. I've been doing that and I find that my cuticles are a lot happier. Also, if you do get glue on your fingers, the cuticle oil helps remove it faster. And I just, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're allowed to treat your nails. Whereas when you're doing the press-ons like Dashing Diva, which I also have a review about, I will leave that up here and below. You can't use oil with them because it loosens the adhesive and the nails will just slide right off. And then I just love that these don't feel weak. Like they're really strong, sturdy nails and they look like a professional manicure, but I love how thin they are. So like, oftentimes I would get a dip manicure and my nails would just look thick and really fake and that's not the look I'm going for. So I do really like press on nails for that reason. I also love that like with gel nails, when I would use self tanner or purple shampoo, it would dye the nails. That doesn't happen with these. Of course it will dye your cuticles. So you do have to wash your hands after, but it doesn't ruin the nail. So I do like that a lot. So one thing I was really concerned about with trying these nails is they really emphasize do not remove them before they're ready to come off. 
and I was worried because like what if one comes off and the rest of the set isn't ready but you want to take them all off like what do you do and so they really aren't hard to get off if you're ready for these nails to come off you could totally do it there's a couple different options so one Usually they will start lifting around the cuticle first. You can push down on the nail and you will see this side rising. You can oftentimes just grab it and the nail will just come off. If that doesn't work, take another one of your nails and push it under where the nail is lifting and you can just slowly pry it off. It doesn't hurt. I haven't found that it damages my nails. It seems to work just fine. One time I did have a really hard time removing the nails and that was after I got that manicure and they had filed the crap out of my nails and then when I was trying to remove it, I filed the crap out of my nails and then I applied these because my nails were so thin after and they were completely wrecked. And the static nail glue apparently loved that. So it was just holding on for dear life. They lasted for 16 days and the nails were looking so beat up that I was like, I gotta get these things off, they're driving me crazy. And so what I ended up doing was taking a bath and I just sat in the bath for like probably only 20 minutes or so. You don't have to take a full bath, obviously. You could just put your hands in really hot water, but then you can pry them off easily. So it's weird though, because I take a lot of baths and the nails don't just come off in every bath I take. But if you want the nails to come off, just soak your hands in hot water and then pry them off and you're fine. If you take baths, don't be alarmed that they're just gonna start floating off. It doesn't work like that. I don't understand really why it works that way, but like they come off when you wanna take them off for the most part. Sometimes one will come like popping off. Like last time I tested the brush on nail glue and I was peeling a tangerine and my thumbnail came off on day two. So it was literally like I applied my nails the night before, opened a tangerine and it popped off. And that happens sometimes, no matter what the brand is, if you just didn't apply them well enough, use enough glue, whatever, some of the nails just are more prone to coming off before their time, that happens. So a couple other nail updates I wanna mention because I do have some new products that I am loving. So the Cure, this is the Fresh Glow Cuticle Remover. I was using the Deborah Lipman one, it's like in the dropper, and I find that I like this a lot more. You use a lot less product and you brush it onto your cuticles. So when I do my nails is take off the old set and then I'll do this. So put this on my cuticles and then grab a cuticle pusher and push it back. And then wash your hands, use a wipe with acetone, and then start applying the nails. I find that that gives me the longest wear and it makes the cuticles look really nice. I don't cut my cuticles, I don't do anything like that. I just kind of let them be. Another thing I really do love about static nails is because I don't have to shape them, I find my cuticles are a lot happier. So I used to always have hang nails. Like when I was wearing Dashing Diva nails, I was always getting hang nails because I would file them so much to get their shape. And with static nails, I don't have to do that. Like I, I mean, really, I never file my nails anymore and my cuticles are so much happier. So if you struggle with cuticles, you might really love static nails for that reason. Those are my static nail updates. If you guys have any questions or if you have any thoughts or tips, I would love to hear them in the comments or you can shoot me an email. Everything's listed below. I also have my Instagram where you can follow and message me. I do a lot of quick reviews on there as well. So that's Lauren Arrow Beauty. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.